Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two one two. Yep. What's going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Scotty at Games. We back with another one, y'all, with a new game alert. New game alert. Um, this game is called Control. Um, I know I don't know nothing about Control. It's just my blind react, blind reacts, first react gameplay. But I know this game is part of uh, Remini Remini Entertainment's. The one, the, the people that made Alan Wake, uh, Quantum Break, and Alan Wake 2. So, we just got finished with uh, Quantum Break. And apparently they have like a little, they have a timeline throughout the, uh, throughout the games. Starting from Alan Wake 1, Quantum Break, then Control, then Alan Wake 2. So, we did Alan Wake, we did Quantum Break, now we about to do Control. So, we about to get into this game, we about to, uh, we gonna, re gonna react with how, how I'm gonna react, cause it's my first time playing it, I don't know nothing about it, so we gonna get into it. Before we get into this gameplay, man, make sure you, uh, like the video, subscribe if you're new, make sure you hit that notification bell. So you can be the first one to watch the uh, gameplay first, and we're gonna get into it, man. Control. Warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. How weird can you be? You me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. Control. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, uh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. What you mean by that? I'm here. Why did you bring me here? What bring what brought you here? Hello? Anyone here? Ain't nobody nobody at the front desk? Why did that? What a 
fact, let me see the controls. Let me get the shoot. You get the shoot on here, evade, launch what? Shield? I'm trying to figure out why did that why did that door open up by itself? That's not supposed to happen at all. Hey, hey, yo, let me open it by myself. What is going on right now? This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Lord Seal. Okay, shout out to the sprint. Look here. This is gonna this is gonna piss me off. I don't need like a auto like a auto open door thing. That needs to stop, like for real, for real. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Bro, it is, it is like a deserted bureau in right here. Where, where is everybody? What the hell is going on? So it was really classified, classified. somebody but I don't, I don't see nobody oh okay it's the janitor hey excuse me there you are you are here about the job janitor's assistant you need to go to the interview Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, you are a hell of it. Help me work for the axe. Take them behind the sun. I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Octi the gin. Oh no. Editor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, 
That's him. You call a janitor an X-Men? Oh, I'll take that back. What the fuck? What? I was just here. What the fuck? How the... How the hell... When did this get here? Oh no, nah, son. This is this is weird, bro. The cell and the poster. I was eleven years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? you there for a moment you know what's on my mind my baby brother Dylan 17 years since the men of this bureau took him 17 years ah, damn. Is the HRA protocol activated? What is that? That just... No. Go deep into the barrel. I really think this bureau is abandoned, bro. Ain't no way somebody drop drop files in the middle of the aisle, middle of the hallway. Files everywhere. What are these? Do not disturb. Barbara, do not. I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day for the rest of the week. Can I trust them, Barbara? I'm, I'm the single one. Who is Barbara? Who is Barbara? <sighs> what noise? Okay, let me check. 
second here. Shit. Oh, damn. Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Who was talking to you? intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. What kind of... What kind of shit is this, bro? That's what happens when you don't know what the story is about. I forgot this one. Okay. One more time. What the hell is that? Hey, hey, yo, what the hell did I just do? The same gun. Did you read 
hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and it, I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? I don't know, we gotta see. What the hell is that? wasn't like this. This wasn't like this at Levitating like this. What the hell is going on around here? Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered experience. 
experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered what items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the Was nearest safe the bureau? room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power, then use your supervisor by the nearest Let's see what's in this shelter. What is this? What is this in the background? Some ritual or something? you hum it over and over. So let's turn the light.
deal with the compromised agents. Speak with the voice in the safe room in the con. Where is that at? Is it simply to come out? Happy I am to talk to somebody sane. Her feelings mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director. Holy shit! Come on, we're coming out. The director? You're the new director of this bill? Director. Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone, not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million That's questions and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out.
Okay. Trying to figure out how to do that out. It's kind of confusing because I don't have like no type of lead way or where I'm going next. of an altered world event case dealing with ordinary you were at ground zero as a child it was one of the big ones and before my time and very classified I can try to dig out some old files for you my boss Casper Darling would know but he's missing I think he knew this was coming or suspected came up with the HRAs, the Hadron Resonance Amplifiers, I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline, so I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. And Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. 
You had to be chosen Why for some reason here? to be director. I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. Hey, yo. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. You found it, Only right? to see the hiss. You fuck around and find out. should be in the communications department. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How did I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss. It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. And each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? Yeah. I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. And his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Is the doctor still around? Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. With you on that, Emily. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that have paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Yeah, she got to. She had to be. She had to got be reading this by the book. Thanks. By the book. She is the book. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun. Maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah.
Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Objective things is go to the unknown phone. Okay. Be this way. There it is again. Our welcome message. All right.
communications are on the right track. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable God, of storing damn, that big a ass floppy disk. 80 kilobytes. Some people don't know about that. Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but what exactly like it? A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and I can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. What do you mean? You launched it. What do you mean by launching? What do you, what do you launch? Whatever this thing is. What the hell? An object of power. Looks like the head is flashed on the Go, go, go. That's the lock, that's the floppy disk that you could launch. Telekinesis, oh snap. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in Bureau Seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Ability. 
move things out the way. I like that. Come on now. This is definitely gonna be more. again. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room.
This must open the door. Hey, whoa, that's something like Guests have stayed there, sleeping where the corpse was put below. They only found the body when the housekeeper complained about the stairs. What the hell? Get you flying. Somebody was shooting. I have a feeling he'll be back. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Thank you. 
right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant that was that police. Dude. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear. Roberto Tomasi, head of comms. The hiss got him. Thank God no local doctors examined him first. Okay, that was Tomasi was dealing with. Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier. Than... The hotline can't be far now. I right, will see. I can hear the phone. It's loud as hell. Side motels across the country on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. It's a dream, all right. Hello? Anyone here? a black pyramid. I think it's back over here. There it is. challenges.
the hell is going on. The hotline will allow you to contact and join the team. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. No darling from the video. She sees Tomasi right is through dead. me. It's part of the she case. knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. reach trench well listen to him he feels more like an echo an echo with important info i need to get back to emily people react strongly when i tell them about you is it too soon to tell emily she might be able to help Hold up, we back in the director's office? safer place to have people. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He's gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. 
Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it will work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. janitor bro I need to know who is that janitor Through all the all the things. Must be had to go to the second floor. Alright man, that's gonna be the end of this gameplay. Um Still trying to figure out I mean I got bits and pieces of it. Um pretty much she's She became the new director. She was the new director. I mean she was, I mean she was she was becoming the new director, but the director himself shot himself with the weapon that she has in her hand has a quip with her and apparently um this um this bureau is being run by some phenomenon called the hiss and we got to do something to cleanse it so we're running around the bureau and trying to cleanse trying to cleanse the uh the hiss and understand what understand its origin and what's it trying to do we rescued some people. I mean, we got some people on the way. We rescued some people on uh, on the way, trying to figure everything out. And now we're on the verge of um, figure out the the management team. We already encountered two people. Um, not encountered. We are. We know the doctor, darling. That um, the person I was on on the videos describing. 
um let's see the uh the equipment and the phenomenon and the origin of power and we found we'll say Toriani he's part of the hiss that's that's two of the uh two uh two of the four management team that was the uh director's people that was supporting him throughout the bureau so we got to figure out um uh, what was her name? Helen, Helen Marshall, uh, the head of operations. So we gotta figure out um, where she's at, so we can um, link up with her. But uh, we gonna get on to that later. But if you enjoy this gameplay, uh, hit a like, hit a like on the button, subscribe if you're new, um, comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video, bro. Peace.